For this problem, we are required to write the shear and moment equation of the beam and draw the shear and moment diagram. Ang una natin na kailangan gawin ay hanapin yung value ng external reaction. Meron tayo ditong hinge support na merong vertical at horizontal reaction pero dahil wala namang applied load na horizontal, therefore walang horizontal reaction yung hinge support. At meron tayo ditong roller support na merong vertical reaction. I-denote natin na RA yung reaction ng hinge support dahil siya ay nasa point A at RD yung reaction ng roller support dahil siya ay nasa point D. I-apply lang natin yung equation of static equilibrium para makuha yung value ng RA at RD. Meron tayong summation forces horizontal is equal to zero kaso hindi natin siya pwedeng gamitin dahil wala naman tayong horizontal force. Summation forces vertical is equal to zero and summation moment is equal to zero. Mag-take lang tayo ng summation ng moment sa point D para makuha yung value ng RA or pwede din naman na sa point A tayo mag-moment para makuha yung value ng RD. At kahit aling solution yung gawin mo sa dalawa ay okay lang. Pero sa solution ko, nag-take ako ng summation ng moment sa point D taking into consideration na lahat ng clockwise rotation ay positive. Kapag iminoment mo yung RA, sa point D, magpaproduce yan ng clockwise rotation na merong moment arm na 3 plus 6 plus 3, kaya RA times 12. Next naman is 2,000. Kapag iminomit mo yan sa point D, magpaproduce yan ng counterclockwise rotation, kaya negative, at ang moment arm yan ay 6 plus 3, kaya 9. Ang next naman is yung moment mismo na 4,800 na counterclockwise. Wala na tong moment arm dahil moment na to. Kaya i-plus mo na lang to or i-minus directly sa solution. Pero dahil ito ay counterclockwise at ang inaassume natin na positive ay clockwise, kaya sa solution natin, negative yung gagamitin natin na value ng 4,800. At kapag kinompute natin, ang value ng RA or ng reaction sa point A ay 1,900 pound. Next naman ay hanapin natin yung value ng RD. Pwede tayo mag-moment sa point A para makuha yung value ng RD or pwede din naman na summation forces vertical na lang yung gamitin natin para mas mabilis. By applying summation of all forces vertical is equal to zero, dito ang sign convention na usually ginagamit natin is lahat ng upward ay positive at lahat ng downward force ay negative. By taking the summation of all forces vertical is equal to zero, RA, 1,900 pound, plus RD, unknown, minus 2,000 pound is equal to zero. Take note, wala na ibang vertical force na nag a sa beam dahil itong 4,800 ay moment kaya hindi natin siya pwede isama sa summation forces vertical. At kapag kinumpute natin, yung value ng RD ay 100 pound. Kapag nakuha mo na yung mga value ng external reaction, pwede ka na mag-proceed sa shear and moment equation at shear and moment diagram. Kapag hinati natin yung beam sa segment AB at tinake yung left segment ng beam, eto yung ating makikita. The value of shear at segment AB is simply the summation of all forces vertical. At yung RA lang yung external force sa segment AB. Kaya yung value ng shear at segment AB is equal to 1,900 pound. Para naman sa moment equation, yung sign convention na ginagamit natin, lahat ng upward force ay magkikreate ng positive moment. At kapag minomet natin yung RA sa distance x, yung moment equation natin sa segment AB is 1,900x. Para sa moment equation na nagawa natin, Applicable lang to kapag yung value ng x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 3. Since yung segment AB is from 0 to 3. Katulad ng ginawa natin sa segment AB, hatiin natin yung beam sa segment BC at itake natin yung left segment ng beam. At eto ngayon yung ating makikita. Ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay yung shear and moment equation for segment BC. The value of shear in segment BC is simply 1,900 minus 2,000. And the value of shear in segment BC is negative 100 pound. Take note, in this solution, importante ang sign na negative. Para naman sa moment equation, i-moment lang natin lahat ng force dito sa distance x. 1,900 multiplied by moment arm, x, minus 2,000 multiplied by moment arm, 
Etong distance na to, ito ay x minus 3. At eto ngayon, yung ating moment equation for segment BC. Dahil yung segment BC is at distance of 3 feet to 9 feet from point A, ngayon yung moment equation na nagawa natin is applicable lang when the value of x is greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 9. Next is segment CD. Katulad lang na ginawa natin sa segment AB at segment BC, hatiin lang natin yung beam sa segment CD at itake natin yung left segment ng beam. At ito yung ating makikita. Dahil yung nag lang na vertical force ay yung 1,900 at yung 2,000 pound, yung shear natin per segment CD is negative 100 pound, same lang ng shear natin sa segment BC. For the moment equation, mag lang tayo ng moment sa distance x. RA 1,900 multiplied by moment arm x, eto yon minus 2,000 multiplied by moment arm, eto yung moment arm ng 2,000, that was x minus 3, eto yon yung moment arm ng 2,000, pero negative dahil pababa. At itong 4,800 moment to, kaya kasama siya sa solution natin. Kung titingnan natin, yung sinabi ko sa inyo na sign convention, lahat ng pataas ay magkikreate ng positive na moment. Kung ito ay pataas, pag nag-rotate siya dito, ang mapoproduce nito ay clockwise. Since ito ay counterclockwise, it means ito ay negative moment. Kaya negative siya dito. Isimplify lang natin yung ating equation. 1,900 times x. I-distribute natin yung 2,000 sa x minus 3. Negative 2,000 times x. Negative 2,000 times negative 3 is positive 6,000 minus 4,800. At yung moment equation natin for segment CD is negative 100x plus 1,200. Dahil yung segment CD is at distance of 9 feet to 12 feet from point A, kaya yung equation na to ay applicable lang when the value of x is greater than or equal to 9 and less than or equal to 12. After nito, ay i-co-construct naman natin yung ating shear and moment diagram. Nire-write ko lang yung shear and moment equation na nakuha ko sa segment AB, segment BC, and segment CD. This will be our zero line. Per segment AB, yung shear natin is 1,900 pound. Next naman, per segment BC, yung shear natin is negative 100 pound. Pero kung makikita nyo, yung shear din natin sa segment CD is same lang ng value sa segment BC, negative 100 pound. Kaya sabi ko kanina, dito sa solution natin ay importante yung negative sign. For segment BC and segment CD, yung value ng shear natin is negative 100 pound. At eto ngayon yung ating shear diagram. Para naman sa ating moment diagram, kung mapapansin natin yung ating moment equation, varying yung value ng moment, at any distance x. Punta tayo muna sa moment equation for segment AB. When the value of x is equal to 0, yung value ng moment natin is equal to 0. When the value of x is equal to 3, yung value ng moment natin is 5,700. Kapag yung slope ng shear diagram is 0, pagdating sa moment diagram, add ka lang ng 1. Kaya yung magiging slope ng moment diagram for segment AB is 1. Next is segment BC. When the value of x is equal to 3, of course, yung magiging value ng moment mo is 5,700 din. But when the value of x is equal to 9, the value of moment is equal to 5,100. Next is segment CD. When the value of x is equal to 9, the value of moment is not 5,100. But instead, the value of moment is 300. Bakit? Dahil sa applied moment na 4,800. Kasi nung tinake natin yung segment BC, hindi pa pumasok yung moment na 4,800. Pero nung tinake na natin yung segment CD, at saka pala pumasok yung moment na 4,800. Kaya merong change in moment sa point C. When the value of X is equal to 12, the value of moment is equal to 0. Dapat mag-0 yung value ng moment mo sa pin at roller support. And that way, masasabi mo na yung solution mo ay tama. Eto na ngayon yung ating shear and moment diagram na kinonstruct natin using the shear and moment equation. Sa mga susunod na problem ay didiscuss naman sa inyo kung paano i-co-construct yung shear and moment diagram nang wala ng shear and moment equation.